People say, why did you never Romania? And I explain my five reasons. One of them is the Me Too era. They go, oh, well, you're a rapist. I say, no, I'm not a rapist. But I like the idea of being able to just say, to, to do what I want. I like being free. And also I like Eastern Europe as a whole because corruption is far more accessible. I find it offensive that a police officer in England will stop me for speeding and then refuse to take a bribe and pretend that, and, no, 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 but I'll tell you why. Cause he'll sit there and go, no, this is the law, law and order and pretend that the law means something and, and fuck me over. But if you're a billionaire or if you're Boris Johnson, you can go to Epstein's Island. You can fuck at their parties during COVID. You know the fuck you want, right? So the whole, the whole idea of law and order is a lie. The whole idea of it's bullshit. It's just about if you're high enough, you can throw it all away. I'd rather be in a society where if I'm in Prague and they stop me for speeding and they say, bro, you were speeding. Oh, here's 50 bucks. All right, cool, cool. But bye, bye. If corruption exists, which it does, let us all play. Every single system, all of them are corrupt. The judicial system's corrupt, the medical system is corrupt, the financial system's corrupt, it's all corrupt, it's all a matter of who you are. Now in America, the game is limited to ultra billionaires who control the government, as you've said. In other countries, anyone with money and some basic social skills and some nice friends can play the game. If we're gonna accept that every single system on the planet is corrupt, why would you live in a place where you cannot access the corruption? Does that make sense, logically? Or would you rather live in a system where you can say, you know what, I'm important enough within said society that if the police stop me, I can give them $10 and they'll fuck off. I probably shouldn't say this on the internet, but I'm going to. Romania is completely corrupt from head to toe, right? I have a very, very extensive network in Romania. I, I like to make this very clear. I'm at the very top echelon of society. If I need to speak to the prime minister, I can make that happen. I can't do that in the West. And Corona came, we went and met with some members of parliament and they're like, well, it's not us. It's European Union directed all of this COVID lockdown garbage. They knew COVID was a scam. It, everyone knew it. European Union told us to. They gave us billions in relief funds, relief funds, bribes to listen. So we can't really open them. You can open them if you don't put the outside lights on. You just like on the sly. So I did a deal with them to open them on the sly and pay bribes. So for I was open for like the first month with bribes, but the bribe kept going up because it's Romania, right? The police chief would come. He wants some. Call his mate who's the fucking, I don't know, fire inspector, some jackass he'd come. Like everyone's got on the phone like, hey, this casino's still open. They'll pay you to go away. So before you know it, every five minutes, someone's in the door for money. Nobody feels sorry for the casino owner. Everyone's like, who gives a shit? Fuck you. You got shear on. Taxes. <laughs> As long as I've lived with him, I've never seen him do anything illegal at all.